man, what's up, man? I've only told a couple black men this in my entire life, man. I love you, man. Because I've tried to point this out, too. And I've tried to say, let's talk about something else. Let's do something else. Let's do something different. I have not seen one white person come on YouTube and say anything negative about white people. And when they do, it's the political situation or, um, you know, it's about stupid white people. And, and it's not white people in general. It's not, they don't go off like, you know, like you said, um, you know, I'm going to stop dating a uh, white man because of blah, 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 and a black guy this and a black guy that. They don't go there. I mean, it's not because they can't go there. They got Jerry Springer for that shit. They do that shit on, on worldwide stage, and it's a handful of them that go there. And to see how, you can quote me if you want to, black people have embraced this medium, all they do is criticize black people. I mean, don't get me wrong, I quit going to church because the two old black ladies was criticizing my grandmother from coming back to from Tennessee with a man. Oh, look at her. She done brought a man back. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it's like, like I said, they criticize black people in church. Just the, YouTube is the biggest church ever because all, 95% of the black people, they don't talk about any unity, not unifying anybody with black people. They just talk about, oh, man, sisters do this, brothers do that. Why this and why that? I mean, it's it's drama filled. I just went. I sent you a video today, matter of fact, about uh, it's 500 years later. It's called after 500 years of whatever black people went through as a whole. All they do now is self implode. They why are you biting my jacket, man? Why are you trying to bite my little thing, man? What do you want? See, he be wanting shit. You see, this, this one, this prime example. This little puppy need me, but don't know how to speak to me. He'll bark and yell at me and shit, and all he wants is his water. Black people, they had a water right there. Bitch and complain about the next person. Oh, look at them waiting in line for water. Look at that. You see that shit? You see how they acting waiting for water? While they doing the same thing. Then the person in front of him at the water, look how he drinking. I gotta wash the whole fountain off. Now look at that, look how he acting. Instead of pointing out how other people act, we need to look at ourselves and how we carry ourselves. I mean, I can get ignified and speak ebonically, or I can speak like I have a lick of sense and still be called ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I get hated on by my own people. See what I'm saying? A brother quick to tell you how to do what you're supposed to do to live how he lived it. But instead of saying, you know what, man, you need to just, you know, chill out, that start trouble. Tell, tell me to chill out. Look at you. We're too busy to quick criticize each other. Oh, look. He's got a big old gold chain on. I bet you it's fake. Now, I've been on vacation all over the place and I go places and I remember one time I was talking about my vacation and this little old white lady the first thing she said was who let you go to Hawaii how did you get to go to Hawaii and I said to myself damn I didn't expect that from a co-worker you'd expect somebody to say you know what'd you do on your trip how'd you have this little old white lady hated the fact that I could go places. And at the time when I was doing all my little heavy traveling, there was just one brother I was helping out. Now this brother was living in my backyard in a tent. Seven months, eight months. Went to work with me and everything. Living in a tent in my backyard. Now he hangs out at a place where I used to work at. And the first thing is, oh, his wife's taking him on vacation again. Oh, that nigga's so lucky. That motherfucker always going places. She doing this and she doing that. She doing this and she doing that. My wife cut me off a long time ago when I was stupid and thought I was a playboy. 
please. My wife loved me to death, but she ain't putting no change in my hand and doing me all like that no more because a brother messed up. My wife used to give me everything, anything I could dream of, I could just get it. She got it like that? No, she works hard to have everything she got. Me, I'm the slacker. I'm the one that get a job and, and get pissed off because someone say something wrong to me. And black people have that problem. We talk all this shit about being, oh man, I'm the nigga. I don't want to be a nigga. You know what a fucking nigga is? I don't want to be the nigga. I'm a nigga. That's ignorant in itself. I'm ignorant. Black people do that shit and then get mad at people when they tell them, hey man, why don't you just, why don't you, uh, Turn the color down in that. Could you tone it down? Oh, nigga, who you trying to tell me how to fucking act? I mean, and we we crabs in a barrel, man. I mean, if a million black people got together to help somebody, it'd be somebody on the outside talking about, man, why you put your money with them? You know they gonna fuck you. Crackers in the barrel. I mean, uh, crabs in the barrel. Pulling and snatching, breaking each other down. And you're right, man. I have never, in the year I've been on YouTube, have went and heard, you know what, don't get me wrong, white people do say these things in person. And if you know somebody white, they'd be like, man, I hate these fucking kids nowadays. These little bastards, pants hanging around their ankles, trying to be black. I've actually heard white people say this about younger white kids. They're trying to be black. And I mean, it's like, I don't know, man. I'm so lost at loss for words. But it's finally, finally, finally. Because, you know, I consider you mainstream. Um, because when I first started watching this YouTube, I was watching you, man. When I first started out. I mean, everybody talking about quitting. Because they're tired of seeing black people attack black people. And it's like a big fucking joke. That's why YouTube lets us do this shit. Because they educate white people. I sent you a, a video and how they're talking about as long as black people speak like a bunch of hooligans and act foolish and stupid, then we're no threat to white people. And that's fucked up. That white people or even black people would believe that if we have any intelligence that we're a threat to somebody. If anything, our intelligence is a threat to ourselves. Once we start seeing bullshit, we will dissect it out of our lives. Once we start walking away from people and letting them stand there and hang for themselves, yeah, I said it, let them hang for their damn self. Like I said in that one video, if you don't like the hood, the way the hood is, and you ain't trying to make the hood better, get the fuck out. And that's the truth. If black people want to see black people get better, we need to cut some fucking black people loose. <laughs> Turn up our nose. Say fuck it, and walk away. Walk by them like you don't even see them, because I'm tired of people walking by me like they don't see me and treating me like them. You're not one of them. I'm not one of them, and half the black people in America is not one of them. We are not niggers, and I'm tired of motherfucking black people acting like niggers. Don't live up to the stereotype. Let that stereotype become a myth. Let that freedom ring. Let it ring loud enough to wake motherfuckers up. Oh, and Obama. I got a minute and 15 seconds, and I'm not roasting Obama. I'm not broiling Obama, but fuck Obama. And I'm not saying it like, you know, fuck him. I'm saying it like, fuck him. He only gonna do what he can do. Everybody talking about Obama. Obama lowered the price of gas. Obama's finna make sure everybody... Obama finna give us reparations. Obama finna do his goddamn job and be the president of the United States of America just like every other fucking president. Yes, he may have some ideas that he'll try to get pushed through to better the American people, but other than that, he gonna do his job. He's a fucking manager, and I'm tired of people making out Obama to be God. Obama is not God. Woo! Man, I'm sorry I went all over the map with this shit, but white people don't air their dirty laundry on a public forum. And if they do it in public, we're going to be sitting down drinking a goddamn beer, and I'm going to be looking right at him, looking at him right in his eyes, and he's going to be looking at me right in my eyes. And that's how we do it. And that's how it's been done. But black people, no. I got to stand on a stoop outside and scream about my neighbors. 
but I won't. Until then, they've all been too.